Hello friends, uh, we will discuss how to write a seminar report because many students are asking that how to write a seminar report, what are its format and uh, how to deal with it and uh, how to uh, follow the all instruction given by the seminar coordinator. So I am discussing, this is a, some kind of hands on session and uh, for that one I had one uh, research paper with me. Uh, this is the just one downloaded research paper and uh, from the science direct then after this one I have the two formats given by the seminar coordinator first format is the front page and next one is the instruction or guideline given by the seminar coordinator so here for the instruction in the instruction uh, for the seminar report writing they strictly mention that first is a prepare the three hard copies of your seminar report now uh, we need to prepare three hard copies for our seminar report it is clear now next one is that limit your seminar report preferably 20 to 25 pages only okay next one is a header okay in header you have to include your uh, title of seminar then footer uh, you have to include the page number and then uh, the institute name mechanical engineering and centrally this thing should be centrally aligned and where it should be it should be at the front page then next one the, the report shall be prepared using latex preferably but uh, during the lockdown we cannot go for the latex now we are having microsoft word and microsoft word we will follow the all instruction here uh, keep in your mind the spacing is double double spacing and then next one is the margin is specified so margin is for a4 paper the margin left margin is 1.5 inches then remaining uh, all margins are one inch then next one is a section title should be bold uh, bold and the capital letter should be there okay and it should be left aligned then we will uh, uh, read this first and then we will discuss all parameters then subtitles or subsection heading should be aligned at the left bold and the title key should be there first letter of each word to be uh, it should be capital then figure number and, and uh, should be below the uh, figure and the table number should be having above the table then uh, please use the SI system uh, we will include that one then references should be either in order of appear in a report what may be the references we uh, we need minimum four research paper and according to the we have to um, you can say uh, referred and in according to that order you have to mention or in another one alphabetical order you can follow then symbols and notation if any then you have to include one more page known as a nomenclature next one is the uh, how the report will be made so first one is a cover page front page as per specimen uh, provided by uh, the seminar coordinator coordinator then the certificate provided by the seminar coordinator then acknowledgement should be written by the student okay then list of figure if many figures uh, uh, figures are there in a seminar report you have to go for the list of figure then list of tables if many figures are there then go for the separate page if uh, few uh, few figures are there and few tables are there then go for the combination first is a list of figures uh, on the same page you have you can go for the list of table also then nomenclature if the many nomenclature are there then go for the next page and the content the content we will discuss later on then all section headings and subheading should be numbered okay so section heading 1 2 3 should be there and subheading 1.1 1.2 1.3 uh, like this uh, should be there then referential should be mentioned okay then how to write a reference we will discuss this thing and uh, uh, in uh, detail then next one is the content 
content of uh, seminar report it should be having first one as abstract next one is the introduction next one is the literature review what may be the minimum uh, five research paper here it is said five research paper you prepared you have to discuss what you read and what you understand and what you are proposing then if uh, any case study and the references this should be the sequence we will go through um, this all thing again so first one uh, here first one is you should how you should limit your research or seminar report preferably 20 to 25 pages means first thing you should collect the data from uh, various research papers now uh, and uh, various uh, uh, you can say books or proceedings uh, up to the minimum uh, 20 pages maximum 25 pages should be there then next one we will discuss this uh, header so uh, what is header here I have one report with me and that report uh, and it's a rough report given by my student and he is uh, written the data um, what maybe he understand and he went through that and he written the data now I'm formatting this so first thing is we are going for is the header so for header you can go for the insert and then discuss the header once the header you are clicking you can go to this if you you want here but as per the specification it should be at the left now the topic suppose we are having design of design of drone this is the topic say go for the design of drone once the header is mentioned um, go for its font change go to home and change the font we need times new roman okay if you recently use the times new roman then it will be appear here if it is not there the type there times new roman then that font will be acquired for you here times new roman i used okay and the font size should be 12 12 okay so this header is mentioned in the report and this header will appear on each and every page on each and every page okay so the design of drone the header what may be uh, i provided it will appear on each and every page now next one is that here uh, according to seminar guidance so footer footer includes the page number so i will go through the report again and in this report we will insert the footer so go to here insert and go to the footer and here we may say the various footers the page number is there and but uh, these kind of things are did not mention in the guidelines so i will go through it and i will uh, insert the page number the page number i need at the bottom and i prefer this one so page number so page number one two three will be get automatically added at a footer so this how to add uh, page number we discussed now next thing is that here they mentioned that the we will skip this portion uh, then we will go to uh, whenever we go to the first page or uh, title page we will discuss this uh, fifth number point now six number point is that a4 paper should be there okay and left margin right margin and the top margin should be discussed so in this report I will go through the page layout in this page layout there is a margin and in that margin we will go for the customized margin in a uh, top margin we need one inch bottom one inch left we need 1.5 so 1.5 right is this one and make it okay okay 
I hope everybody got this how to change the margin again I am repeating go to the margin okay go to the page layout in page layout go to the margin then customize margin then change the margin according to your need then paper which kind of paper you need I need a A4 paper so I already it is selected A4 paper is there then page layout okay and uh, here now we need the page layout same so I am not changing it uh, portrait and landscape again we are going for the portrait so it's uh, okay now uh, I hope everybody got how to change the margin now next instruction given is that the section title should be bold okay and all should be in capital letters okay this is the section title and it is in uh, bold okay and it should be in uh, all capitals okay fortunately here the, the hello uh, utilize the same if it is not there then go select here and you can say uppercase already it was in uppercase um, then if you need a lowercase then you can then if you need a capitalize each word then you can change like this then sentence case but here we need a uppercase so I have taken this as uppercase now another thing is that we need a font here times new roman 14 size so it is uh, times new roman uh, we selected okay then 14 is was that you can change uh, sorry you can change this corresponding font size here but here we need a 14 so we kept in 14 again it should be at the left side okay left aligned so it be it was the left aligned okay now next one is that after the, uh, this one we will go to the next instruction subtitle should be bold okay left aligned okay then subtitle okay subsection heading should be aligned to the left bold okay title case first case of this should be capitalized so we again i will go to this one and so this topic this kind of symbol should not be used in a seminar report okay so i am taking this topic as a 1.1 1 .1. Okay. and here in this 1.1 1 .1, it should be bold okay it is very bold then times new roman 12 size and left aligned okay how to make left aligned here the specification it is the left aligned okay this is left aligned okay now after this we have to go for the continuous uh, report writing so data is already written by my student so we will do uh, it's a formatting of this paragraph okay so how to do the formatting of this paragraph here the data is copied from somewhere and we have to change according to the norms given by the seminar coordinator so for that one first norm is that it should be times new roman so i am selecting this one and then it should be in times new roman i converted that thing in times new roman there should not be uh, any bold so all bolds are removed so normal things are normal is there and the uh, corresponding font size should be minimum 12 so 12 size is there and after this you should go for the justification so what is meant by justification we will go do it and then we will understand now i am justifying this so justifying control j or you can click here after selecting the corresponding material so here it is the specified the corresponding thing is get justified justified means uh, over this line and uh, this line it should be get properly justified okay after this i need this paragraph facing as a double so i am clicking here selecting the corresponding paragraph and i go went for the paragraph right click and then go for the paragraph so here multiple is that change that and mention as a double because it is provided in a guideline so this is double okay i hope everybody got this one okay now how to change how to change remaining paragraph by using same specification so i'm just clicking here i click here and then go for the format better okay and 
select where you want to change it will get automatically changed it will follow the you can see the paragraph number one paragraph number two both are approximately having the same thing okay so here what will be the uh, no spacing if any is that then go for the correction okay so i hope everybody got this again i am uh, mentioning the third paragraph is not in format how to change that one okay i'm selecting this the change format format printer and change the corresponding format like this you can edit your report uh, or paragraphs so spacing is double please keep in your mind all spacing kept here in it is in double okay then next instruction is the spacing was double here instruction was that we they taken that taken care of that one next instruction is that the figure number figure number and title at the bottom with the 10 point okay and it should be um, um, below okay so if any figure is there we will find the figure here figure should be uh, centrally aligned here central make it central then suppose this is the okay and suppose this is figure number one so I'm just going for it figure number one you can mention 1.1 1.2 like that also and it is a photo of uh, corresponding helicopter it should be centrally aligned and it should be times new roman okay again the corresponding times new roman centrally aligned okay here already we taken the centrally aligned and times new roman 12 is there okay you can follow the same okay the, uh, now how to specify the table now if any table is there table should be above the ta table name should be above the table and figure name should below the figure i hope everybody understand this one now next instruction given by the seminar coordinator is the symbol and notice you know okay already discussed the report will be made in following orders so first one is the cover page and front page okay cover page and front page as per the specification given by the seminar coordinator so uh, if you are asking to your guide uh, your guide may will have this kind of uh, corresponding specified uh, the title page okay so here uh, we will go through this one understand this one it is a seminar on seminar on and its specification times new roman 16 point okay then centrally aligned is given specified by them okay then uh, you can ask this format uh, from your guide okay and then uh, we will edit that if you are having this kind of format then you can uh, edit very easily uh, so a seminar on so it is already there suppose so remove this one we don't need this corresponding thing then here you have to edit your according to your topic so uh, here topic is that design of drone suppose design of drone okay once it is said like this times new roman 27 point we say times new roman and 27 corresponding this uh, centrally aligned and title page should be there Then next one it is presented by so it is presented by student remove this guidelines and directly change here so it is change write your name here suppose the name is Lokesh Vallad Patil and then you will see 
number what may the prn you are having you should write that prn guided by okay suppose i am guiding this one the so go for the corresponding chain and you have to remove this instruction because we do not uh, at the time of printing we do not need this one so remove this one okay then yes prn already discussed write your guide name okay remove this instruction given to you then our logo department of mechanical engineering snjb uh, complete name of the college then remove this instruction okay and our academic year so academic year is it is 1920 so this is your cover page now first then next one is a certificate so certificate is format will be given by the seminar coordinator to your guide and similarly you have to change the corresponding thing this is certified that write down your name for this case it is uh, lokesh vallar patil okay then correspondingly topic design of drone guide name should be changed then head of mechanical department name should be there then corresponding names uh, corresponding principal sir and all things should be there here external should be mentioned then the seal what may be the college seal you have to take here so this is the format of first two pages and these two pages do not have any any page number so it should be made separately okay it should be made separately i hope everybody understand this one i hope everybody understand this thing okay the first page the cover page will be like this okay then next one is Closing this, saving it, saving it. Okay. So these two things are discussed. Now acknowledgement. So what is acknowledgement? Acknowledgement is that the student is right, thanking to the supporter. So what should be the sequence? According to me, the whenever we are writing the acknowledgement, we must uh, uh, say thank or express our sincere gratitude towards the people. who uh, directly indirectly supported uh, us uh, supported uh, the student for the successful completion of the corresponding seminar so this is uh, one of our project acknowledgement i drop it so uh, here's i written like this i thank to uh, thank okay uh, sorry i take this uh, opportunity to express my sincere gratitude towards the all people who are directly indirectly supported me for the successful completion of this uh, corresponding seminar so here seminar should be there then you have to mention firstly your guide should you should be grateful to your guide okay so for th this report i am a guide so here first thing and what kind of uh, uh, guidance the guide given that paragraph has to be included okay so uh, this paragraph you can change the thing and you can mention the uh, corresponding the plus point of guide and uh, how he guided you throughout the seminar you can mention there after this uh, next one you should thankful to the seminar coordinator for our case uh, the professor darikal sir is a seminar coordinator so we should be thankful to him uh, again after seminar coordinator we must follow the hierarchy the guide guide then seminar coordinator then the corresponding head and our below principal sir okay we should say thanks to them then after this uh, our parents are supporting us during the seminar directly or indirectly again our friends are again um, few friends company of friends or group of uh, friends or team supporting you so you should uh, mention all thanks to them parents and your friends thanks should be there that okay this kind of and then your name should be there and this name should be uh, rightly aligned okay uh, right alignment should be there 
and here you have to sign the you have to sign while submitting towards the uh, seminar coordinator so this acknowledgement should be there again i am uh, explaining acknowledgement should be written by the students and uh, the sequence should be there you should thanks to uh, overall people and then after this you should uh, in next paragraph you have to thanks to your uh, guide okay mention the all plus point how he guided you then after this the you in next paragraph you have to thanks to the seminar coordinator next one your hod and below principal sir then uh, your parents without them it is not uh, possible so parents and friends okay uh, this kind of uh, acknowledgement should be there this is uh, not a standard format but uh, i generally i instruct my student you have to follow this one okay so this kind of acknowledgement can be done then next one is a list of figures and the list of tables you know better then nomenclature you can go to the book uh, at the standard reference book there are nomenclatures how they are mentioned and you can go to that one okay uh, now next one i am mentioning is the how to provide a reference okay so for references um, i am considering suppose the reference okay first reference is given by the seminar coordinator i am mentioning the second reference now suppose we are uh, using a book of uh, our rathod's book so here you have to write a first name of the author so name of the author now suppose uh, many authors are there then you can add the uh, name then comma after this uh, comma you have to write the name of book so name of book supposed to be heat transfer okay then provide the comma suppose this is the fourth edition what may be the book you are referring fourth uh, edition okay then um, who is the publisher it is a tata okay magro uh, uh, limited uh, what may be then next is that Uh, where it is published uh, it is in new delhi india and then when it is published suppose it is 2014 then next one is that which page number you referred so i am mentioning pp page number and we mentioned uh, we suppose 201 201 dash 204 this many page number you referred for the your seminar so you can mention like this so sequence is same author name book name edition who is the publisher of that book when it is published and what are the page numbers okay uh, you how to mention like this then another thing is that how to um, refer or how to mention the reference paper from the standard journal so uh, i i am writing here if you have research paper like this okay so how to uh, mention this okay how to understand it okay first one is a guide guide name okay so i am copied this guide name here okay then mention comma then title of the corresponding research paper again i am copying this one okay then again comma then we have to go for the corresponding journal name this is one method you can copy this text the computer laws and security review this is the journal 
you can copy uh, the correspondingly all things where the when it was published and what are the page number already discussed here so copying i can copy this one and i can mention it after this okay now select this make it times new roman then it is a font size is 12 and here it should be okay correspondingly color has to be changed and it should be like this okay so wh whenever we are copying like this so many times spaces may be there so you can remove that one this is one method to mention the correspondingly research paper preferred by you okay so we can do like this or there is another method you can copy the name of researcher and what research paper he mentioned okay same sequence we can follow up to this one control c then paste after pasting this one go to the research paper and find its DOI number on a fourth page it is mentioned here copy that one and paste after the title of the corresponding research paper again we know that times new roman 12 font size should be there 12 font size and the uh, justification should be there black color should be there like this you can make it okay um, like this uh, the paper um, uh, you can add the corresponding reference in a your seminar okay then after this uh, how to write equation that is the issue uh, same sequence should be followed for the conference paper the name of the author then what uh, published then where in which proceeding it is where is the conference occurred and which page number it is okay which volume number you have to mention like this uh, same sequence has to be followed for the patent also and whenever you are giving a web link web link at that time you have to mention the full web link full web link okay and after this when it is assess okay uh, uh, copy paste the entire web link that and then mention that when it is access so at access on the date and time has to be mentioned because uh, generally web links are getting changed so you have to mention the web links again if you want uh, then next one is that uh, how to write uh, equations okay suppose I want to add one equation here okay how to write equation in a Microsoft Word for that one go to insert okay and then uh, click at the equation okay once you click on equation this kind of portal will be there and suppose I want to write a is equal to here a is equal to b square plus c so uh, how to write b square plus c here okay so i can mention like this b square then plus c okay this kind of uh, things we can add okay now suppose again i want to write another equation insert go to the equation okay then i want to write suppose uh, the x is equal to x is equal to i want to write uh, in a format of integration it is uh, integration having a limit okay so it is supposed to be having limit of uh, 10 to 100 supposed to be what will be the limits you are preferring and here it is the t 
okay i'm mentioning suppose it is a fraction okay and it is dt upon t okay so like this you can utilize the corresponding equation tool here you need a practice and here all kind of it is very beautiful again uh, all kind of notations are again provided here into uh, divided by okay alpha mu pi okay rho all uh, means uh, many mechanical notations are again uh, given here in basic math okay like this you can edit uh, you can write the equation in your seminar okay while writing this one uh, uh, keep in your mind whenever you are copying this uh, into ppt uh, you need to change its font but in report it should be as per the prescribed font okay uh, i hope uh, i covered many points here if you have any query you can contact me thank you thank you everyone